Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Maddie. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm gonna be showing you how to cook one of my favorite meals. I feel like this is perfect for Valentine's Day if you're gonna cook for your partner or if you just wanna impress your mom or your grandma or your roommate or anybody in your life. This takes a little bit more effort, but I promise you guys can do it and you're gonna be so impressed with yourself when you're done. I'm recreating three of my favorite dishes from a very popular restaurant here in LA. It's called John and Vinny's. It's an Italian restaurant. Their food is amazing, don't get me wrong, but it is quite expensive and I feel like you can definitely make a lot of the dishes at home. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. We're gonna to be making a little gem salad, some chicken cutlets, and a spicy vodka fusilli or you could really use any noodle you want. It could be spicy vodka rigatoni. This is definitely one of my comfort meals. Every time I make this, I devour the entire thing and it just really makes me feel good inside. You know when you just make a meal and you eat the food and you're like, ooh, that just really, it hit the spot. And not just the spot in your stomach, but also the spot in your heart, you know what I'm saying? Before we get started with this video, I wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsor, which is Skillshare. Thank you so much for partnering with me on this video. I'm sure you guys have all heard of Skillshare before, but if you haven't, it is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. I feel like we all have some extra time on our hands and what better way to spend it than learning something new. Right now I'm taking a class called Creating Your Dream Career, Uncover and Apply Your Creative Strengths by Holly Coley Merchantson. I might be saying that wrong and I apologize. Since getting back into YouTube and leaving my job at the restaurant, it has been really important for me to have a clear idea of what I wanna be doing, where I see myself in the future, in my career. I really love how she structured this class and encourages you to look to your past, present, and future self to really acknowledge your strengths and learn how to apply them in your dream career. I think after I finish this class, I'm gonna take a class on interior design because I've really loved decorating this space and making it feel more like a home. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's only $10 a month. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now without further ado, let's get in to this delicious recipe or recipes. I should say. We're gonna start off by making our salad dressing for the spicy little gem. You're gonna take two egg yolks, one anchovy, two Calabrian chilies, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one and a half tablespoons of red wine vinegar, half a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon Dijon mustard, two cloves of minced garlic, and a few dashes of Tabasco. It seems like a lot, but I promise it's worth it. Pulse it, and then you're gonna stream in three fourths of a cup of olive oil. My food processor doesn't have a hole for me to stream it into, so I just have to pour it in and then pulse. Once you've done that, put your dressing in a bowl and you're gonna stir in two tablespoons of chopped shallots, some salt, and some pepper. Of course, we're going to grate in some fresh Parmesan. Do as much as you like. I feel like I did like a fourth of a cup. And that's it for your dressing. Just put it in a jar and pop it in the fridge for later. Now we're gonna make our breadcrumbs. So melt two to three tablespoons of butter, drop in some panko. You're gonna season with salt and some oregano and basil, and then just toss until they're nice and toasty. You can obviously toast as many breadcrumbs as you want. I had leftovers, which is never a bad thing. Now we're gonna prep our chicken cutlets. Wrap your cutting board or your surface in plastic wrap because we're gonna be pounding our chicken. So I took a chicken breast cutlet, put it in between plastic wrap, and then I used my rolling pin to pound it out so it's nice and thin. If you have a meat mallet, obviously that's ideal. I know raw chicken looks gross, but I just wanted to show you how thin it was. Now you're gonna set up your breading station. So take panko, a couple of eggs, 
and some flour. So you're gonna put your chicken in the flour first, make sure it's nice and coated, but shake off the excess and do the same with the egg, coat both sides, drip off the excess, and then you're gonna make sure it's very coated in the panko. So just like press it in there, toss it around, make sure every nook and cranny is covered in panko. I know this is kind of gross, but like you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? And then just repeat the process. It's very important to do the prep work first when making this meal because there is a few moving parts that you need to cook at the same time. So that's why we prepped our dressing and the breadcrumbs and now we're prepping our chicken. So once you've done that, just pop your chicken into the fridge while we get started on our sauce. So it's a pretty simple sauce, not too many ingredients. First, you're gonna heat up some olive oil and cook three to four shallots and about five cloves of garlic. Once those are nice and translucent, add four and a half ounces of tomato paste and two anchovies. Anchovies are optional, but you know how I feel about them. We love them. Let that caramelize, and then you're gonna add about three tablespoons of vodka. I eyeball it, but I think it's about three tablespoons, and you're just gonna let that cook off until you can't smell the alcohol anymore. Now you're gonna turn off the heat and add heavy cream until you get your desired color. Um, I think it's about a half a cup, depending on how much sauce you're making, but I just go by color. And then add chili flakes to taste, usually about a fourth of a teaspoon. Now we're gonna set the pasta sauce aside and start frying our chicken. This is also a great time to start boiling your water for your pasta. Once it's golden brown, give it a nice flip. This doesn't take too long to cook because your chicken is nice and thin. Make sure to finish with flaky salt. As your last piece of chicken is frying, I'm adding in about a pound of pasta to a heavily salted water. And now we're going to assemble the salad because we're almost done with this dinner. I just got some little gems and laid them out nicely on the plate, drizzled some salad dressing over it, topped it with the breadcrumbs that we made, some fresh parm, finishing it with some fresh parsley, and there's your completed salad. All right, now we're back to the pasta. Make sure you reserve some pasta water. Go ahead and scoop your pasta directly into your sauce. It's okay if some water gets in there, we want that. Add a nub of butter, a cup of grated Parmesan, then add some pasta water and just toss that baby until it's nice and coated, silky, delicious, beautiful, and don't forget to season with salt and pepper. And here is your completed meal, perfect for Valentine's Day, or just a regular date night, or if you just wanna cook for yourself and go all out. Obviously you can make these portions smaller, so you make less food, but I wanted to make it nice and plentiful for this video. Juicy and perfectly cooked. <laughs> no words, honestly. I'm speechless every time I eat that chicken. It's so good. Going in for a little salad. The breadcrumbs are a key ingredient in this because you get a little bit of crunch. The dressing is creamy, tangy, like vinegary. Ooh, a little bit spicy pasta. Pasta is perfect. Al dente, slightly spicy. I probably could add a little more chili flakes, but obviously it's up to personal preference. You have to make this. If you're gonna make any 
recipe that I share, it's gotta be this one. I'm gonna go devour this and then figure out what to do with the leftovers because I made so much food. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. It really helps me also leave a comment and let me know what you thought. I cannot wait to see all of you guys recreate this. If you make this on Valentine's Day or any other day, please send me photos on Instagram. I'll leave my handle here and in the description as well. And thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.